The training will boost the medical fraternity capacity in fighting cancer and neurological disorders in East Africa. 42 doctors and another 394 doctors across four East African countries, including Uganda, have so far been trained since the inception of the program in 2016. Um, and the aim of those courses um, are to really reach out to the doctors in the counties to help them understand how to recognise cancer. So trying to recognise the symptoms of cancer early so that those patients who come with a cancer that is curable with surgery or radiotherapy treatment, they can identify those and refer them to the appropriate hospitals. But beyond the numbers, we are happy at how this training is changing. Um, delivery of healthcare within uh, hospitals that are away from the cities. Our intention for the program was to um, uh, have an intervention to take it closer to Kenyans and to take it closer to East Africans away from the cities at the earliest point of contact so that uh, diagnosis would be done in good time and people would present cases early enough and have interventions that would be life-saving. The program targets 600 East African physicians by 2020. The burden of disease and prevalence of non-communicable diseases is a growing concern in the region. We believe that oncology is better managed within a setting, a setting defined by a geographical area, a setting defined by culture, a setting defined by the availability of resources and their availability to handle these cases. Cardiovascular diseases, cancers, diabetes and chronic respiratory diseases are now the leading cause of death in most regions of the world. Dennis Igor for UBC News in Kampala.